Hello everybody, welcome back to another update for Hyperspace Dogfights, the game by Sleeper Games. And I've been tracking for quite a bit and, you know, having done updates and stuff like that. It's time for another one. This is um, the X-Ray update and I've missed a few updates in the meantime. But a lot of new stuff and such, like uh, new enemy types, new enemy mechanics. Um, new zone so it's not just always the desert thing i would assume um anyway let's just get into a game and uh we'll see if we can find some of the new stuff that's available to us cool now i've been playing a little bit of this before and um one of the things i immediately noticed is that there is now been a drastic change in the the way you move around and by that i mean you have the option as seems to be the case with most of these things in this game you have the option to turn stuff on or off if you like it or not in this case it has a lot to do with the mouse aiming um having played this game for so long being one of the early testers for this game um, I'm used to not having the mouse aim and I'm keeping it off but you can turn it on without even going to the options menu which I guess is kind of nice it means like for some weapons it's probably easier to just use normal way and then for others it might be easier to turn mouse aiming on or off so I'll just turn it on here and you might be able to immediately see the difference so now we can uh, move with the mouse and uh, the arrow keys now just activate different kinds of thrusters i'm gonna turn it off again we still have the backwards thruster even without the mouse aim so i can probably do just fine without um anyway i've noticed some new enemies apparently there are now enemies in the game that just shoot straight through your shields which is kind of annoying i'm hoping they have like a um custom Ooh, that's a new item Processing power, weapons, great offense, bad defense. Hmm. I don't know if I like that. Let's see if we can figure a little bit out about that. The computer configuration improves fire teams by using some processing power normally dedicated to maintaining shield stability. So, shields down, damage up. I'm not sure if I'm going to like that all too much, especially with a big, potent weapon like this one. Um, the other thing you can see now is the targeting reticle, which basically if you don't fire for a while, it will guide you. Oh wow, we have like a bunker? Or is that a ship? Either way, it's quite large and... Um... Oh yeah, we have boats now, cool. I like this, you know. Managed to at least show off some of those. Um, new biomes, I guess, which what you could call them. I suppose this is game sums calls them zone variants. Whatever strikes your fancy, right? So what else is new? Um, well, a lot of enemy types and apparently there's been done quite a bit to make things smoother, I think. Why do I say I think? Because I didn't understand what it actually meant in the change log or change dog as it's called for this game, last little joke. Anyway, um, one of the latter updates might actually be the one that I'm currently playing. Um, made it so a lot less checks needed to be done. Like to enemy movement and special effects and whatnot. I'm assuming that means less processing power needed making the game run just a tiny little bit more smooth. So that's always nice. Um, let's open her up, see what we get. An auto scatter gun. Ah, this is neat. Let's 
see, are we still on the water thing? Yeah, we are. Nobody likes water levels, right? <laughs> ah. The bane of many a peoples. I would guess. Either way, I'm liking this auto shotgun. One of the new weapons. At least one that I haven't seen in a while. Let's go. Seen that one before. Top speed up, friction down. Okay. So, first time I played this after coming back, this thing just kicked me in the teeth. Mainly because I didn't really have amazing weapons. Um, things might be going differently. I got pretty swarmed last time. Um, apparently there's also stuff being done for the end game, as in it used to be once you got past the boss number three, that was pretty much it. Um, you could continue, but level generation was a bit spotty at best. Stuff has been done to address that as well now. I don't expect to get there. Um, this is, after all, still a difficult game. So, we're keeping that in mind. Um, but yeah, it's nice to see that for those who are actually good at this game, there's now more stuff to be done late game. You know, it's not just see what weird stuff happens, but there's actually some progression to be made. Whether they're a new boss or not, I'm not entirely sure yet. Um, this one definitely still is the tried and true boss that I'm familiar with on level 1-4. I don't see too many apparent changes here, although maybe the amount of uh, additional planes is a bit higher. Again, I, I can't say it's been quite a while since I've did my return. I'm glad to be able to be back, you know. It's a game that I've been played quite a while during testing and it's nice to know that now that it's finally released and apparently available on Steam, or at least made it to the final batch of green light. Um, you know, it's nice that I can uh, still like do my part, you know. Uh, looks like uh, we're almost done here. It's a little bit bright, isn't it? Switch to our shotgun to hopefully take care of the few stragglers. Hopefully without taking too much damage. We've lost half our health in this fight and we just ended up losing a little bit more. Oh, we got this thing. Rib jump. Ooh. Forest or mushroom? What are we dealing with here? Looks like a forest one, or like marsh. Marshy marsh. Just try not to fly into trees after all. We're down to our final bits of health. Uh, just in time. Health up. Let's immediately use that. It's gonna be a while until that's uh, ready to go again, but... Ooh, that's a new weapon. You got shotguns too. Maybe I should just take you guys out from afar. Huh? Enemy mines. Go over there. It won't kill you, but it will strip you of your shields. Let's 
back to the Ooh, wow flew into a mine on that one Oh, we're almost done here. We'll see. I think you need to do like two levels or maybe even three for this thing to become charged again. Health is rather scarce, so it's no real surprise that we just got some. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's no real surprise that uh, anything that can like pseudo consistently give you health back is going to take a while. Or at least have a large cooldown associated with it. We get an HE auto cannon. Take a look at that one. Might be new too. Ah, no, it's just like the missile launcher, but like smaller. I used to be a fan of the missile launcher mainly because it um, allowed for easier air to ground strikes. But I guess it's nice to just fling some shots in. And See where the grenades may or may not land. Just took some damage again. It's nice to see things still get chaotic as ever. Um, I remember it being like this back during, well, let's say Alpha, but I can't really say if this is still alpha or not. Still says zero point, so... Anyway, let's uh, do another one, see if we can get something fun to go. The clouds on your, on your side. I don't know, man. Oh, we get the... Um... Well, I can only really describe it as the mass cannon from Enter the Gungeon. Might be a bit of a wrong description, but... And I'm pretty sure it's a reference to something in Enter the Gungeon as well, but... So yeah, it's like a pseudo-long-range shotgun. Not the easiest thing to aim, but if it lands, it's probably gonna do... Some damage. We also have an anchor as our active item. Which honestly I don't know what it does. I suppose we could have a look at it. Alright, let's have a look. Graph grid anchor, stop right there. Gravitational allow uh, NTEC squadrons to become geosync orbital batteries. Don't flip off a button. Aircraft being locked in position obviously has advantages and disadvantages. Oh, so it's we that get stopped. No charge. Hmm. Well, I guess that's kind of useful. I wonder if there's a bonus for, like, finishing around flawlessly. Not that there has to be one, per se. But, um, I do wonder about that. Health up. Okay. If I had also would have filled the container, things would have been even better, but... See, the problem is now if you don't get any health, then that power-up is kind of pointless. If you never get to fill that container, then what was the point of having the thing in the first place? Hey, look, you got extra health capacity. Thanks, I guess. You know? Are you still gonna, like, fly straight into... Yeah, okay. So that's still a bit of a thing. Anyway, I'm hoping to 
be able to get my hands on a um, a weapon that can actually do some damage against the upcoming boss. Notice that you know, basic weaponry still gets resisted by him, meaning you have to go for its engines, and uh, they'd rather not be above it, you know? That's where all the scary things are. Oh, there's two of them. I thought this was just one massive thing. These guys don't like death either, it seems. It's like, nah, I'm just gonna keep on living. Either way, as you can tell, coming from ultraviolet back to this, um, does... Ooh, wow, he gave a lot of stuff if you actually do manage to kill him. But yeah, as I was saying, coming from ultraviolet to the x-ray, there's a lot of extra stuff, you know, so... Ooh, is that a mace? Heavy photon mace, crush your enemies. Yes, I will. Let's see what it looks like. Oh. I think this used to be the... Um, Energy blade, not the katana style thing, but the normal blade. What's the specialty about you? Okay, so it just says crush, which means I guess it's just a heavy attack. Well, we might be able to use this against our boss. We'll see how things work. Why do they take full damage if they get hit by the... ...regular slug? Still haven't gotten a charge for the... Uh ...anchor. Maybe I'm using it wrong. Either way, I'll, uh, I'll let people know. I'll let one person know at least, and then everybody who decides to read it anyway, so... But anyway, yeah, I think uh, at this point most of it has been set. Um, be sure to check the comment section. If you're interested to see if there's already a Steam link. I probably should have checked that prior to this but you know like ooh update and um, you know did a test flight and then immediately went on to recording this so excuse me for not knowing everything Got a. Uh, let's see if you do damage. I don't think you will. Yeah, he's like, I'll sell resistant. Okay. Let's see what this thing looks like down below. Oh, it's the water thing again. And the obstacles are what? Like floating space rocks. And now you know why I generally don't like to come up above it. I need to hit him with one of these crushes, but the whole plane becomes a lot heavier when you do. It's just, yeah. This thing's gonna tear us to shreds. The combination of not having played this in a while and not being able to just quote-unquote cheese it, it's kind of making this a little bit difficult. You know, cheesed by uh, going for the bottom. Yeah. So yeah. It's an easy game to get into, but as you can tell... It ain't the easiest one to play. Or to actually get any reasonable distance in. And it's n definitely not like riding a bike. Okay, that's one of the engines down. I 
I never was especially great at taking this thing the from the top. Yeah. I guess it's fine. 20 minutes is enough of a showcase, I guess. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you're still on the series. Feel free to support by coming liking and or something if you haven't already. This has been Hyperspace Dogfights, the X-ray update. And um Yeah, bye everyone.